a delivery. Kyle Mayers was getting the ball to curve in to the right hand. A couple of clips, couple of couples, and then gets the man. Middle stump has been knocked off. So first we get down in the form of Johnson Charles. And, and for several years before his ankle injury, this is the role that he would occupy. He would use the new ball, he would swing it in big, and that is the perfect Yorker to dismiss Jono as he's affectionately known. Johnson Charles goes for four, four for one. Too high, high, too high, and is taken comfortably. Ramon Simmons made it look very easy. It wasn't so. It's a double strike in one over in the very first over. For Kyle Mayers and it's Mark Dayal, the second St. Lucia King batter dismissed. It, it's sort of that type of pitch, isn't it, where some of it is up and down, it's hit the toe of the bat, sometimes it, hold, it holds on. Ramon Simmons took a little while to pick up the trajectory, but wonderful. Good with the bat, Carl Mears. Good with the ball. Mark Dial goes without scoring. Four for two. Uh, another dream delivery. Action replay of the Johnson Charles dismissal. He spoke about a, a Barbadian at the crease. The Jamaican has got through his defenses. Sorry, Barbadian. Two Bajans. That in drift again. It's something that, again, I'll stress, we saw from Kyle Mears time after time after time when he was playing in the early days, his early journey in the CPL, using that new ball. First Johnson Charles, now Ruston Chase. Lights on, lights out. Seven for three. Another one. Another one. It is Carl Mears day here at Warner Park. It should be a national holiday. And again, a bishop in the way. Joshua Bishop taking the catch. Uh, what's happening here? Carl Mears can do nothing wrong. Maybe the only one which he has pitched up. He gets a wicket. Roshan Primus, another Bajan, caught by a Bajan. The umpire is a Bajan. And he's already picked up four wickets. And the skipper, Fab Duplessis, is just an innocent bystander at the other end. He's got one delivery. Roshan Primus goes for a duck at seven for four.